Hey there, welcome to Backseat Drawing Workshops. I'm Eric. I'm Josh. Today we're going to be concluding our series of videos on how to paint a background. Painting a background. Yeah. So you've already done a lot here. Now, how do you get to where you are right now? You watch the videos that we just made. <laughs> oh boy, yes. Great. So what we're going to do here is we're going to be adding a little bit of the magic that uh, kind of goes into the, the colors and finalizing some of the stuff that you see here. The magic. The magic. Are you saying that everything you haven't done so far hasn't been magic because it's pretty impressive? Uh, well, there's just a little extra stuff that you can do at the end just to give it a little more fantasy. So what we're okay. going to do first is I've created a new layer here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to this brush right here. I'm going to increase the size. Actually, it's actually this brush. <laughs> which, <laughs> they, what is this? They look exactly the same. This one here is um, kind of like a dot. Okay. Oh, I was right, right the first time. It's this brush. <laughs> okay. We're going to go that one. And you can see here, it creates like a dot pattern. Now, what it's I want to do... Hmm? It's the ambience. Yep. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a bunch of these dots right to the center. And I'm going to create a new layer above those dots. I'm going to go back to my airbrush. And I'm going to take this yellow and go right up to the almost white and kind of paint them just a little because I don't want them all to be one color. So okay. you, can see, you can notice here in the center they're more white and they kind of get a little yellowy on the edges. Let's go ahead and commit those two together. What are the dots? Their dots are just a little bit of a like a atmosphere texture that I like to do. I'm going to go uh -huh. to Gaussian Blur here and then I'm going to go right to the background and then I'm going to take all those dots and I'm going to send their um, blend mode to overlay. And you can see here it just adds I don't know, just a little bit. See that? Okay, yeah. Almost, almost like as if they're Fair like enough. little bugs or some sort of flying critters or something that kind of caught the light and they're kind of showing up. I feel but, like there's a lot of those in Ocarina of Time. Yes. I think yeah. I actually like them more when they were not on overlay. I'm going to just set them on this on normal and then actually just kind of turn them down just a little bit. Okay. And then right there in that blue area, I lost a lot of them. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to just put them in as a lighter color there. Cool. And then go back to blur. Blur them the same amount. I'm going to blur them just a little less, just so they show Ooh. up a little bit more. And you can see here, now I got a, a bunch of like little flying guys right there in the center. Yeah, they're fairies. Yeah, fairy. Fairy dust. Exactly. All right, so let's go ahead and commit those two together. Now it's all up again on the same layer. Now, some of the lighting that I like to do at the end is just mostly experimental. So I'm going to kind of try to talk through it, but a lot of it will be me painting and undoing, painting and undoing, just to see what works. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take this big airbrush again on a new layer. I'm going to set this to overlay because right now it's about experimentation. Now, I keep talking about how I want this center column here to kind of be in focus. So I'm going to go to kind of a yellowy color Maybe slightly orange, actually. I'm going to just kind mm -hmm. of paint a big stripe right there and see what that looks like. All right. And then maybe on the sides, I'm going to take out some of the green by adding a little more orange. Now, are, what's the objective here? More depth or You'll see. More when, color? when I flip the, the these two layers off and on, you can see what it's doing. It's adding just a little more variation to the, the, the composition. Okay. Yeah, and this again, this is all an experimental part of the background. It's it's less about uh, process and just repeating what you know, and ver and just kind of kind of playing around with what's going on and seeing what really looks good in the end. So again, it's a lot of experimentation. I, I usually kind of spend a little bit of time here, kind of touching up the colors here and there, and just making sure that I'm getting it to a point where there's enough color variation. There's enough focus on what I want, and that everything seems cohesive. Okay, so basically what I've done is I kind of took colors from all over using that big airbrush with that blend mode set on overlay. And I'll flip this layer on and off so you can see what that's done. So you can see here it's kind of done a lot with the color. Wow, it's like a fall scene now, I guess. Yeah, uh, I, I've got fall in my heart all the way. 
<laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and commit these two together. You don't have to keep reducing your layers like I do. I just find that it's a lot easier to work this way. Everything's basically now on one layer. At this point, there's lots of things you can do to prepare your final file, but a lot of the things I like to do is to duplicate these two. So now I have an option where the background is not affected, and I'm going to take this up. I'm going to ask Photoshop, what do you think? What do you think with the tone? All right, you thought it was a little too dull. And then what do you think about the color? Okay, well, I don't agree with you there, but I do agree <laughs> with you here. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. That but even more fall. I don't it's like know. Spice. Yeah, it's like pumpkin spice all the way. But between these two, I do like what it did, but I think it did blow it out just a little bit too much. So between the two, let's go ahead and compromise and say that I agreed with you about 66%. <laughs> <laughs> So I do like what it did. So I'm going to go ahead and take those two layers and commit them. And at the end, I think we have a pretty fabulous background. Okay. I mean, yeah, yeah that's a little self-congratulatory, but you know. <laughs> now, what if, what if you wanted to add a literal fairy flying through this forest? If I wanted to add an actual fairy, what you're going to want to do is just whatever brush. You know, I'll just use this one. Let's say the fairy has kind of like a pink... I'm going to go ahead and just add okay. her right there. I'm going to go right. ahead and just, I'm going to use a layer style to say there's an outer glow. And that oh, outer glow like is cheating. a little bit of the red. So this is, uh, I believe, Teil from Zelda. <laughs> well, I can, I can make the center even more, uh, more white. Okay. So maybe, yeah, could be a little closer to, to Tatel at that point. There, you satisfied? Uh, yes, but <laughs> I, I was more asking about a specific brush you have that... Oh, just, well, yeah, I mean, you can always add some magic to the background. Okay. Uh, some of the brushes that I have that are magic brushes are essentially like down here. Uh, I have one brush that you can use here that's kind of like, adds a little bit of like... Um, dust and you can send that back and just say overlay and then it kind of adds a little bit of a, <gasps> the magic it went, it went like through everything it's like it's weaving through the forest now that's right and then some of these other brushes do essentially the same thing this was more like um the same idea but like uh sort of like a firefly kind of like flying through or like a fairy yeah you son of a bitch <laughs> <laughs> so let's add let's add a little fairy trail in there nice so wh which brush is that? It's uh, this brush right here, 500. Okay. Yeah. I also have a few other brushes that kind of create different fairy trails. This one has a little bit of the, the dust in the inside. That's like a, a, a fairy with really big wings. <laughs> but yeah, these are all experimental brushes. You can, there's a lot you can do with each one of these. Like I said, uh, this one's kind of like the, the fairy dust, and then this one's kind of like the pulsing trail. And this one's more like, um, like a tubular brush, I guess. Okay. Well, now what about fog? Add like a ton of fog. Just do it real quick. Okay. So for fog, we actually need to not be on overlay. We need to be on normal. For fog, you want to have uh, this brush here is probably the best for fog. You want to take something like just a light color. Oh my God. It's doing it on its own. It's magic. It's also like really laggy. So it seems. <laughs> yeah. So that's just a little bit of fog. I like to make sure that the bottom part there, it doesn't have a rough edge. So I'll just kind of fade it out with a little of the, uh, the old airbrush. Oh man. I like it better with the fog. I think I made a good choice. Okay. Well, I'm going to squeeze it then because it's a little bit too much fog. <laughs> but that's pretty much it that's uh that's our tutorial on background building i hope you enjoyed it and uh, learned something we'll see you on the next episode smell you later